Okay, instead of the two volts power supply, some of uh, the graduate students in uh, 526 simulated, or not simulated, they built a, an RC circuit with um, just a step function like this, which is fine in principle, but I am hoping to see more than just a step. I'm hoping we're going to simulate here more like what most of you did in the lab, which was a square wave. Eventually, you did triangular and sine wave. And I'm going to start with one hertz. Even in the lab, we did that, right? Oh, let me see which which uh, amplitude. So amplitude here is one volt. Maybe I'll put two volts, just like in our other uh, in our DC simulation. So this is ready, and now I want to go under the simulation here, instead of doing the DC, I don't even know if, if this runs, does this run? I guess it runs. Um, I want to do time domain. And I want to start in zero and to decide until when I'm going to simulate. If I am making a one hertz square wave, if and I only simulate for one second, that means I'm simulating only one cycle. I'm going to try simulating four or five cycles. So I'm going to put five seconds, the time step, Anything smaller than 0.1 should work. And now, so here you will have, for example, add expression, and you can put uh, your cursor here. But I also want to possibly know the voltage here and maybe the current. So what happens is when I clicked here, it offered um, me the current on both sides of the uh, R2, on this side of R2, and this side of R3. I'm not sure I want the R3 current. Is that true? Yeah, maybe I want all of them. So the R3 current is going to be in series with the capacitors, and the R2 current is going to be in parallel. So we can, we can do that too. And I can also put a voltage here, possibly. Voltage on R2. Okay. And I am mostly done. So now I run, and what's happening is that the square wave um, is not long enough for the capacitor to discharge all the way to zero. So I want to possibly make a slower square wave than what I have. Um, a lot of my uh, graduate students must have seen this this kind of behavior in the lab when they were, when, when they were um, trying to do this. Let me just change. Instead of one hertz, I'm going to now say it's, um, let's say 0.2 hertz, which is 200 millihertz and this also means that each um, cycle is going to be five seconds so now i want to possibly simulate all the way to 20 seconds so that i can see four cycles and now it's a little bit better also some of, of you some of the groups i saw um, you had this kind of um, curve charging um, or discharging and then charging Oh, yeah, so the square wave goes from plus 2 to minus 2. Let me see if I have, if I can add this guy. I only want the voltages. Actually, I'm going to take the R2 current off. And then I'm going to take this voltage off, too. And let's run. So the yellow is the wave that I am applying, the waveform, the square waveform. And the blue is the capacitor. So it goes up, it goes down. Um, at the same time, you see here the current through the resistor that is in series with the capacitor. So this is the current there. I hope this explains how to simulate these um, the any RC circuit. Of course, this is much more complicated than what you need to simulate. So you need to really only simulate something like this. Um, this this in and this, but then hopefully you, you get to, you know, have as much fun with it. And I'm fairly sure you need a, a ground. So I am expecting you guys should have no problem simulating these, but, but there are these tricks with the frequency and with the RC value, right? So multiplying the resistance um, by the capacitance gives you the time that it takes, um, let's see. Uh, what happens is if you multiply the resistance by the capacitance, it takes it gives you this time here until 
you know, 30% of the way down, 60% of the way down, or 30% to the, the bottom here. Um, but this is probably beyond the, the graduate level class. So I am done.